today we started our list of the 12 members of Congress who we think are among the worst in this Congress in terms of their pro-Israel, anti-Palestine stance. And we started today, number one, with James Comer, the head of the Oversight Committee. And he's the one that's going after Students for Justice in Palestine and other Muslim groups and Jewish groups, demanding that they give all their information of where they get their funding, who is influencing them. So we are serving him with our own papers, asking where is he getting his funding, who is influencing him. We are very concerned about how the Oversight Committee has been targeting uh, groups like Students for Justice in Palestine and other groups that are really just exercising their First Amendment rights. And we believe that it's kind of like a witch hunt at this point, mm -hmm. asking them for like, where do they get their money? These groups have like no money. You know, they're doing this as volunteers. Mm -hmm. They're doing this because their families are being killed. They're doing this because they care about what's happening in Gaza. But we know there's a lot of people in Congress who actually take positions pro-Israel because they are taking money from groups associated with foreign countries like APAC, like Christians United for Israel, and maybe even from weapons manufacturers right. like Lockheed Martin and uh, other big weapons manufacturers, Northrop Grumman. So we're just asking, um, well, demanding, right? Mm -hmm. like, like they do, uh, that Representative James Comer reveal to us um, all documents and communications related to APAC and other designated pro-Israel lobby groups, all documents related to trips that he has taken with American Israel Education Committee, which really is APAC, um, all documents pertaining to the Anti-Defamation League sponsored legislation and talking points, all documents related to his uh, funding from weapons manufacturers and all documents, no matter what the topic is, between November 8th, 2016 and May 29th, 2024. And why do we pick those dates? Because that's right after he is beginning his term post his trip to Israel in which he just started his fury of anti-UNRWA, um, anti-Palestinian rhetoric and letters and bills. Hmm. Um, and he has requested similarly information dating back very far for a lot of these organizations. So it's just a nice little counterpart. And just as he has asked for that information from Students for Justice in Palestine to be delivered by June 12th, we are asking for the same thing by June 12th. Okay, well, um, I'd be happy to pass this letter along to people who um, be able to handle this. Um, and that's what I can do for you guys. Thank Thanks. you so much. Yeah.